For this assignment, you will be designing both food chains and food, a food web for the African savanna ecosystem. Um, just to give you a little bit of an introduction to the assignment, the slide, slide two, kind of gives you all the directions, which can also be found in the slides for this assignment. Um, your goal, like I said, is to design a food web and explain how the energy is moving through that ecosystem. Slides three and four are kind of information that you should already know at this point, but is there to use as a resource in case you forget. It kind of summarizes um, how to structure and construct a food chain and the different levels of food, a food chain and a food web. If you feel comfortable with this information already, feel free to skip these slides, but again, they are there as a resource. Slide four includes pictures and labels of all the organisms that you will be using to construct your food web and food chains. Um, what is not included in this slide um, that you will probably need to do is um, the feeding habits for each of the organisms on this slide. Now, you can easily figure this out on your own by doing a simple Google search. So, for example, if I am looking at the giraffe and I need to figure out what does a giraffe eat so that I can add giraffe into my food chain or food web? All I'm going to do is go into Google and type in the feeding habits, or you could even type in the diet of a giraffe. And here it tells me just right off the bat some basics. Giraffes are herbivores, which means they only eat plants. Um, they use their long necks to reach leaves, seeds, fruits, branches, um, etc. Okay, so a simple Google search will help you figure out what each of these organisms feed, feeds on so that you can construct your chains and food webs accurately. Please don't just assume you know what they eat. Um, do a quick Google search. It doesn't take that long. Okay, part one, you will be constructing three different food chains, and that will be on slides six, seven, and eight. Um, I'm going to do an example for food chain number one. Here's what I will say. You cannot copy my example. Come up with your own example. This is just to show you kind of the basics for how I would be constructing one. Okay, so for food chain number one, it says, finish the food chain by using three organisms from the picture bank. So what's already in there is the sun, and that is kind of the main source of energy in all ecosystems because sun provides the energy needed for plants to grow and produce food for themselves. And essentially, all organisms are then feeding off plants one way or another. So I know that after the sun, I need to have some kind of plant in my food chain. So I'm just going to choose one. And I'm going to choose this tree, which if I go back to my organism cheat sheet here, um, this is an acacia tree. And actually, so what I'm going to do is just click on the picture. It should highlight it with a blue box. And then all you're doing is dragging it next to the arrow because that's where the energy will be going to. From the sun to the tree. Okay, and if I actually go back to my Google search, this is something that giraffes eat. Okay, so that makes my next choice in an organism very simple. Because giraffes eat this tree, I'm going to make the giraffe my next one. So I'm going to go back to my assignment. And before I add in the giraffe, I need an arrow. Okay, and they already have the arrows down here. So I'm just going to click and drag into place. And then I'm going to drag my giraffe. And again, my arrow is pointing from the tree 
to the giraffe because the energy is going from the acacia tree to the giraffe. Now I need to add one more because I need three. Okay, so I need to figure out what in a savanna ecosystem eats giraffes. So I can even do another Google search that's just in the savanna. What eats giraffes? Okay, lions. Okay, so lions are the primary predators of the giraffe. So let's double check in the... Yep, there they are. There's a lion. So again, I'm going to add an arrow, and then I'll add my line. And now I've used three organisms, which means for food chain number one, I would be finished. The last thing I need to do is label each organism using the labels that are provided. Now, <clears throat> you may or may not use all the labels. They're just there in case you need them. Okay, so for example, my tree produces its own food by using sunlight through the process of photosynthesis, so it is a producer. So I'm going to drag that above the acacia tree. After the producer is the first consumer. And they are called the primary consumer. So I'm going to drag that above the giraffe. The next consumer is called a secondary consumer, which eats primary consumers. So I'm going to drag secondary consumer above my lion. And now I'm completely finished. I've dragged all the arrows, all the images I needed. Everything is labeled. And I've used what it told me to, which is three organisms, which means I am done. Okay, and again, this is my example. Please come up with your own for food chain number one. Do not copy mine. For food chain number two, you're doing essentially the same thing, except this time you're using four organisms from the picture bank below. And then for slide eight, food chain number three, again, you're doing the same exact thing, except you're using five organisms. Once you finish your three food chains, that is all you're doing for part number one.